In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a quick HTML page and save it as an index file. Then upload it to my web host using Quick Connect as we did in the previous video. And then finally, show you how when you save a file as an index page, you can load it in two different ways in your web browser. So the first thing we need to do for this video is write a quick HTML page. Here I have open an HTML text editor called Komodo Edit and I'm going to write a simple HTML page. You'll learn how to do all of this later on in the book, but for now just follow along and you can see what happens. So first I'm going to write my HTML head and as you can see I have a doc type of HTML5, I have a character set of UTF-8, and I've got my title. Then I'm going to add in the rest of my HTML document, the body with a headline, having fun on a tree, and an image. Then I want to go ahead and save this document in my Yaksha website in, in the folder Good Things, because that's where my image is. As you can see, one on a tree.jpg is in the Good Things folder. So I'm going to save it as index.html. So here I am in my FileZilla folder having connected to my yaksha.com account and I'm going to go to the good things folder on both my local host and on my web hosting service and I'm going to choose my index.html file and I'm going to double click it and upload it to my hosting provider. Once you've saved an in your index file to a directory on your web hosting server you can go to your web hosting server and go to your website switch to that directory and you can type in the index.html file name and there you will see your web page having fun on a tree. But the benefit of the index.html file is more than just that you can type it in right there. The other thing you can do is you can delete the file name and just go to the directory name and as you can see nothing seemed to change that's because having fun on a tree is the base URL for this directory. If you don't have an index file some web servers are programmed to show the directory listing of that folder and others are programmed like mine is to give you a forbidden message so if you go to yawk on my yaksha.com page you'll get a forbidden message. That's what the index file is for, is to prevent people from seeing an error message and it's also to prevent people from seeing a directory listing which might be a security hazard on your website. Plus it makes it easier for people to get to your web pages because they don't have to type anything but the directory name. 